All right, guys. Well, I guess part two now. Um, I've done a few other things here. And here's another one that I just did. It's done in the exact same way as the first one that we did. Okay. All I did is I laid glue down on this side and then put static grass on the brown static grass. Then I put ballast or in this case flock on this side. Put a tuft in the middle, just attached with glue and uh, put a piece of slate here. And then what I like to do, like I just uh, did here, is I like to line the very bottom where the rock meets the base with a little bit of glue and then go in with a different color static grass. Kind of gives a nice like mossy look to it. Now this isn't a very, you know, uh, put together sort of uh, uh, base here and obviously the side looks messy. Now what you do when that happens is you just go in with your scraper tool and just scrape it off. Now you're going to have to paint the sides again but you probably have to do that anyhow. So you could take your exacto knife um, or hobby knife or whatever you like to call it and go in and just scrape that stuff off Mine seems to be eluding me right now. Maybe it's running away. That's odd. I usually don't lose things like that. Um, anyway. Ah, there it is. Sorry. You guys didn't need to suffer through that. But anyway, you're just going to go in. You're going to kind of shave it off. And it comes off without too much problem. It's just the glue that was on the side that the static grass stuck to. I sometimes like to have my ballast actually uh, coming over the side like this. Sometimes it gets a nice effect. Sometimes it doesn't. But anyway, there is a, another type of base. This was relatively quick to do. You know, again, it only takes a few minutes uh, to get it done. And it's pretty interesting. And again, whatever you like to put on there, you could. Um, and it's, it's going to look nice, again, as long as it follows the theme of your, your army. All right, so again, this was done the same way it does on the first one, and here's the first one again. So as you can see, same exact, same exact thing, just done in a little bit of a different way, and really different themes, different sizes, a little more detail on one than there is on the other. Um, there you go. All right. Also, what I did is I took the other 25 mil base and I covered it with glue. The glue is a little bit thicker, and I used our rock ballast. That's this stuff right here that I explained in the first video, right? And all I did is I laid it down, the glue that is, and then I sprinkled this stuff on top of it, okay? This is a mix of both big and small aggregate, okay? It means a little bit of sands mixed in here. That way you kind of get a variance of stuff that's actually on here. Now on top of that, I'm going to go in with a little bit of super glue and you're going to lay uh, kind of a bigger piece down on this um, whatever you'd like. So I'm going to use slate again because it just happens. Actually, you know what? Instead of using a slate, why don't we go ahead and use some of the cork. Um, and you can use it for that. All right, so these are cork rocks. Essentially, they're just pieces of cork. Uh, not essentially. They are pieces of cork. Uh, I'm going to get three, four, four. There you go. And with the super glue, you're going to pick up the spot. Now remember, where are the feet at on this miniature? And where is it bald? So we're going to do a little one right here. Here on the side. Maybe one right next to it. There. There. And then how about over here? There. Fantastic. If I could see where I put all those, we'll be in business. Take your pieces down. I'm doing a little haphazardly right now. You can do whatever you feel is the right way. As far as what's aesthetically pleasing to you. Because this is for instruction, I'm not really going to use these things, at least not immediately. There you go. Okay. So now all the pieces are down. Now comes, I guess, a little bit more of the fun part. We're done with the glue now. So what we're going to do is we need to get this one color. So question comes, what kind of base is it? Is it, you know, forest type of base? Is it this? Is it that? Whatever it may be. And two ways to go about this. You can either just paint it, paint over it, which um, works just fine or you can airbrush it, okay? 
and I think we're going to airbrush it just because well, it's one, of, one of the reasons is because the pieces aren't super glue hasn't dried yet um, sometimes when you do it sometimes it's better just to wait till uh, everything dries and then kind of scrape across it and anything that comes off is just not meant to be so to speak like these two pieces right here just don't want to stick um, you can do one two things and I will try and go back in here and reapply it now usually that happens by the way when it falls off when you're doing this is because the glue that was holding on was attached to some sort of ballast instead of the actual base so it dried just fine but when it came off it's because the the ballast underneath gave way and you basically just pulled ballast off instead of um, instead of the glue failing on you. That's really not going to work right there, is it? We'll see how that goes. We'll give it about 10 seconds and see what happens. All right. So you, again, you can airbrush if you want. Uh, I have an airbrush, you know, uh, but if you don't, let's go ahead and do it if you don't. So this is normal, very basic base. Uh, and we're not going to go through the trouble of airbrushing because let's say we don't have one. We're a normal person is just getting started and airbrushing is not our thing yet, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to uh, just go ahead and give it a good uh, a brush. So you want to choose a dark color. Now, I do mean a dark color. We're going to go in here with Dryad Bark. All right. You want a rather large brush, preferably one you don't really care about that much because uh, if there is any residual glue on there, you're going to get you're going to make a mess. So just be cognizant of when you go in that there was glue on here, and that if your brush touches that stuff, it's kind of done for. Like this piece over here is just the hell of that thing. There we go. It's gone. All right. So here we go. Yes, I'm using it pretty much straight out of the pot. You don't really need to worry too much about thinning. Um, want to make sure your brush is wet. Oh, um, real quick point. It may be a good idea when you're doing this not to, to kind of double dip. You might want to take all of the paint out, put it on your palette or whatever, and not go back in because obviously you run the risk of getting aggregate into your paint pot. Okay? So... Uh, here we go. And you're just laying down a very thick base coat. Again, if you let this thing dry all the way, uh, unlike I have, then you really don't have a risk of any of the other glue giving you any kind of problems. I'm using a stippling technique here. Now again, if anything wasn't very secured, it's going to be uh, dead meat when you go into the dry brush phase. All right, so you're going to let that sit. Um, and then you're going to let it dry, and then we're going to come back and finish it off. All right.